So in this video, in this video, I'm going to be making tater tots. Now, all you need for this is Idaho or these Yukon Golds. I'm going to go with these right here. Now my tool of choice is going to be a mandolin. I'm also going to be using this attachment for it. You don't need this. It makes life easier though if you got it. If not, you could chop it up really small in a food processor or with a knife. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new here. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using the mandolin, just like I said I would. Get it all chopped up really nicely, just like this. Now, once you got your strips all cut up, I just dropped it into some butter. I barely clarified it. And what we want to do here is not really cook the potatoes all the way. We just want them to come together. So just keep stirring it until it starts to clump up and release all those starches. Just let them do their thing right until they come together just like this. So once you've got that, go ahead and strain it right out of the fat. And of course, reserve the butter if you want, because I mean, it's butter, it's potato butter. It's great. So put it onto a sheet tray just like this one lined with some plastic wrap. And then we're just going to flatten it out and distribute it evenly. Cover it with more plastic wrap and then just give it a couple pats, flatten it down and then put something flat on top of it like another sheet tray. Okay, now I'm just going to throw this in the fridge and then maybe I'll find something heavy to put on top like a jug of milk or something. Now we're just going to completely chill them until they come together and then we'll take them out and we'll do the rest. Now, after a quick run to the gym, they're ready to come out. Look how perfectly flat that is. So, pull the plastic off, turn it over, give it a couple taps, and voila. There we have a flat potato brick. Now, what do you do with this brick? Well, you can cut it however you like. Cut some strips, cut some logs, and they're ready to fry. But we want them to look like little tater tots here. So just go ahead and cut little one inch rectangles. And there we have some rectangular, perfectly flat, straight edge tater tots. These look kind of fancy. Now we're ready to fry canola oil at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Drop them in and then cook them off till golden brown all around or GBD, however way you want to call it. Pull them out. Drop them all into a bowl, just like that, and then season it. Toss, 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 season well with salt and pepper if you want to. And the video's done. Bye. Oh, just kidding. I'm going to make some Dijonese. So this is going to be a great sauce. Garlic, some Dijon mustard, horseradish, an egg, another egg. Go ahead and give that a blitz. Add canola oil slowly until it comes together into an aioli, and then maybe a squeeze of lemon juice. There you have a really nice Dijonese. Perfect dipping sauce for the tater tots. One of my favorites. And stack them like a pyramid because they're fancy tater tots. Why not? Thanks so much for watching. I was really excited to bring you all this recipe because life is just better with potatoes. Oh my God, yeah. This is so f***ing good. Thank you for watching this video. Go make yourself some of these right here. They're so good. Go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you in the next one.